Hey guys, what is up? It's L Trooper from L Trooper Obers L, and today I'm going to be showing you my new fish, which is probably not surprising for you guys because I always get fish. But these ones were actually caught in the wild from our local creek. Me and Yobros went out there and we caught some with Creekside Vlogs and Danica Hamster. Um, so they're actually in my five gallon tank and they're called, uh, I think I mentioned this already, they're Creek Chubs. So yeah, they're pretty cool and I'm just looking at them right now. They're just getting used to our aquarium. We also did get two other kind of fish, which I'm not sure what they are. They are alive, but they look dead. They just... I don't really understand, but they do this because I saw one in this, uh, the stream and they were doing the same thing. Yes, they're all looking at me here. Alright guys, as you can see, there's two of the creek, two or three of them, and then, you see those fish behind them that look dead? Those are those weird ones I found. Comment down below if you know what they are because I have no idea what these things are. We got speckles, I have no idea what they are. Oh, and there's the anchor hamster. <laughs> okay, and so these are creek chubs, and they're about mm, I would say two inches. This guy right here is like two inches. Oh, he's getting a little scared of my finger, so I better back up. And this guy has one little speckle on his head, and a few others. This guy's a ton of speckles. So there's, as you can see, there's a lot of different varieties of them. They're they're pretty they're pretty awesome fish, I would say. And I, I don't really know. They're still getting used. Oh, this is this one's really cool. I'm not even sure if he's one of them, but he's very speckly. Same with this guy. This guy has no speckles, so he's pretty awesome. And then we have a little baby creek chub. Hi, buddy. He's super cute. And then, oh yeah, if you're wondering what that is, that's a piece of bread that's been soggy because we didn't know what to feed them at first, so we tried that, and they're eating it. But, turns out they'll eat fish food, so that's a good thing. Because I don't want to feed them bread every day. That would be a very, very expensive food. Oh, and looks like they're actually going over to eat it right now. See? That guy's eating it. And we got them a plant. We put a plant in there. And they seem to really like it. This guy, this guy right here, he really likes me. Hi, buddy. They're already getting used to us. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. So, if you didn't know, this is called a native aquarium because you have native fish from around you. And they're all lining up for the camera. Oh, no, they're not. <laughs> that guy swam away. Alright. Thanks for lining up for the camera. But that's it for these guys. The creek chubs are probably one of the coolest fish I have ever seen. And they're actually pretty easy to take care of. They can grow pretty big but they won't grow super, super big. Um, but that's basically it for the creek chubs. So I'm going to show you guys a really quick thing of our other tanks. Hey guys, instead of, instead of showing um, my fish off, I decided to show our other pet, which is a Madagascar. Oh, <gasps> oh guys. Oh, no. Okay, this, okay. Madagascar hissing cockroach. She jumped off my hand. Um... Now, they only hiss when they're mad, and she's not mad. She actually likes me, but she decides she's very, very, very playful. So, that's why she jumped off my head. She is okay. She is, like, super tough. And we also, we have two of them. We have a little guy, but this is a girl, because she does not have any horns on her head. If she could actually go into the camera, there... I don't know if you can see that really, but she doesn't have any horns on her head because male cocker. Oh my gosh, she she is crazy, guys. She is jumping off my hand. She is going crazy. And yeah, she is she is actually really crazy. These things are crazy and they're awesome. They're awesome pets and they are very clean. They are not disgusting. Do they, they do not bite? They do not fly. They are awesome pets. So I totally recommend these as pets for people who like bugs. Because otherwise, then you probably don't want this as a pet. But that's basically it for today. I uh, hope you guys had a good one. <laughs> 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 I needed to show that. Oh, God, she's climbing into my belly button. <laughs> okay.